Villain Bosses in Alola. What is he doing here? Do we have to teach this old man a lesson again? <sighs> Why are these brats here again? And when did they get so big? Weren't they like 10 years old? Uh, actually, how many years has it been? You know what? I'll join you on the ice mountain until he gets his butt kicked. <laughs> Don't worry, Red. I'm sure a 10-year-old trainer in Alola will ruin his plan, just like how you did back then. Hmm. Ten-year-old kids are any villain's weakness. How did these people manage to find and obtain the red and blue orbs when it took us as a whole team to locate them? More importantly, it cost only 10,000 polka dollars for an orb. What a steal. Uh, by the way, could you lend me 10,000 for the blue orb? Hmm. I am not lending you money for your orb. Cheapskate! Hey, Cyrus. How are you doing? I see you got out of the distortion world and are here for vacation, right? And I heard you brought some friends along. It's good to socialize a little. Oh, but... If you or your friends start causing trouble here on my vacation, I'll come over and beat the living daylights out of all of you, okay? Ah. Oh. So, how have you been? Good. I may have failed in colors, but I will not fail again. I will make sure to destroy all Pokemon in the world, for the sake of the world! I shall start by destroying all Pokemon in Alola, and then I will- Blah 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 He's standing right above me, isn't he? Oh no. Lusamine versus Villain Bosses! Hey, how come Faba is in the promotional poster with you guys? Shouldn't I be included since I'm the villain boss just like you guys? And Faba isn't even a leader. He's one of my scientists. Guys only! It's actually because you're completely insane. And that's coming from me. <laughs> See? You're insane. Rotom Dex can be full of itself. There's a Rotom in your Pokedex! Hey! Easy on the goods! Litten, the fire cat Pokemon. It's hot, but not as hot as Rotom. <gasps> Rowlet, the cute owl Pokemon. Not as cute as Rotom, though. <gasps> Rotom, the sexiest, most awesome Pokemon to have ever lived. Its awesomeness can barely be contained. Nothing can compare. So Rotom in hell. Hey. We wish you a merry bummus. Merry Christmas, kiddo. Ba, ba, ba. Team Gramps.
I have bad news, gentlemen. It appears that Team Skull and their leader Guzma won't be joining us in Team Rainbow Rocket after all. Why? So much for changing the name of our team to Team Gramps. To start any conspiracy theories about Professor Oak being the true mastermind behind it all. Apparently, he chose to side with a ten-year-old brat who's trying to ruin our plans. What can I say? The kid's never changing blank expression really grows on you. To make matters worse, he's actively protecting him from our grunts. I don't see any problem. I'm still here. Now that I think about it, there was never any need for you, Lysander. There's no place for the F from Team Flare to go anywhere in Gramps. Hmm, I might as well kick you out. Excuse me? It does work! The beautiful visage of Team Flair has a similar appearance to an exclamation point, so it could be added to the end to make round. Now you're just being ridiculous and reaching, Lysander. It appears that Team Skull and their leader Guzma won't be joining- <laughs> <sighs> The Helldeck Show, featuring Yamask. Hello everyone! We welcome you to our new segment, Helldeck Show. I'm Sundex, and the one next to me is Moondex. The Helldeck Show is where we Rotoms explain disturbing actual Pokedex entries of past or current generations that may possibly destroy your childhood. Oh, Arceus. What are you two demonic monsters doing now? Possibly destroying people's innocent minds and giving them nightmare fuel. I should have known. Let's start. Today's Pokedex entry is number 562 in the National Dex, Yamask, the Spirit Pokemon. A ghost-type Pokemon that comes from the Unova region, fifth generation of Pokemon. These Pokemon arose from the spirits of people interred in graves in past ages. Each retains memories of its former life. Each of them carries a mask that used to be its face when it was human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. In other words, your masks are just dead humans. Wait, what? Your mask used to be living humans? Yup, it's actually pretty common. A lot of ghost Pokemon tend to be born from either the souls of Pokemon or of humans. So you never know, you might have a Pokemon who might be related to you. By the way, this your mask happens yeah. to be your grandmother who passed away. What? What a joyous reunion! She says, My granddaughter! Oh, how you've grown! You've gotten so much bigger! <laughs> oh, yeah! Look at how happy your grandmother is just by seeing you. And it is her for sure, since the mask resembles a picture of your granny, doesn't it? It does resemble her a bit. Uh, hey, Grandma! How are you doing? How is it being a Pokemon and all that? <laughs> oh, this is so weird. <gasps> Mom? Yam? <laughs> Mom! <laughs> yam. Yam, yam. You're still with that worthless man as always, huh? Typical. Huh? Yam, yam, yam. Why you ever married that man is something I'll never understand. Even after death. Let me guess, he isn't in a Lola with you and your daughter. You little... What the heck? Not again with this mom. He's just at his job. He can't help it. Yam, yam, yam! He should be at home with his wife and child. You know, this could affect my granddaughter's future because her father wasn't around. My daughter is the first champion of the Alola region, you know. She's doing quite fine. Oh, yeah. Like that mom at Pallet Town where her son was also a champion and the father was never at home. Look at how that turned out. Oh, that's it. You're a Pokemon now, right? Let's have a Pokemon battle right here and now to settle the score. Go, Meowth! Yam! You want a battle, huh? Fine. I'll show you what happens when you don't respect your mother. I'll send you back to the grave where you belong. Yeah. I know this is too late to say this, but I'm sorry. Yeah. 